Okay, tell me what you were, what you trying to do. You ordered the light uh, 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 to go on a 2006 Dodge Charger, Charger base car. And now what what has happened since you've gotten the lights? I got the lights, and basically I went from I went from website to website, and found out that basically a lot of pe a lot of people are not basically risking it as far as wanting to show you how to hook it up because of the liability that's behind them. They basically still preferring you to go to the dealership. Okay, because what's the prompt you can't do? Because we thought this was going to be like a plug and play. And I thing. found out that this fitting does not fit the dealer's mail part. Mm -hmm. Okay, this, and that's the wire that you ordered. Yeah, this is the wire that I, I ordered. So okay. what I had to do is basically hook this up to my existing lights. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. That's in the car. Okay, so how do you plan to do that? Uh, Turn my the light. oh, the light. Oh, what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna take my natural hot wire, that will be my positive wire, and connect it to my positive wire that's in my light housing. Then I'm gonna hook my negative wire into the negative wire, and that will be my black wire. So mm -hmm. my red wire is gonna be my positive wire. And I hooked it up and it works just fine. Mm -hmm. But now I'm gonna go ahead and go through the whole phase and show it, show you how it done. And hopefully, if it works out for me, while I don't have any problems, I will be putting this on my website. And mm -hmm. that way, it can help a person that's that's new to it and want to do this on their own. Mm -hmm. But they don't have the wiring on the car is an original part, part no. so you have to make your own wiring in yeah. order for it to work. Now yeah. the back of the light, this. of that light, when it came, uh, it, it didn't have... You you have to also order this part of it, because this don't come with it. Okay. So, you basically, you got to order this, but this is, you will probably either have to go to a dealership, and get the 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 this would be what's this a female this is a male line yeah yep. that's the male the male and this right here this part right here does not fit the dealership mm -hmm. this is a female but it does not fit the dealership because this one right here is universal universal but the one that's with the dealership has a split a two split down the middle so you will have to go to a dealership or make your own. I'm planning on making my own. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we're going to take a trip to Radio Shack. Shack and see can I get enough wiring so I can go ahead and finish the insulation. Okay. All right. We'll continue. You can go on the truck. Yeah, they need the publicity. Okay, we're at Radio Shack. Where is that? Radio Shack. Oh, look at that pawn shop. Ooh, they must be getting, they must have some good stuff. Yeah, I see them. Hello. You sell, you sell wire. See all those different types of um electrical tape. That would be good. Does it say how long it is on there? It just talks about the, the gauge, the thickness. Feel that way. Fifteen foot. They got some weight. It's how much foot? Fifteen. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the one that you need. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> and look at the name, Hook Up Wire. <laughs> okay. It'd probably be best to get that one. Yeah. Which one? What that one that you have? You sure? I don't know, you the doctor. <laughs> Doctor, doctor. Look at these things. Hook clips. Mm. What's that? Hook clips and adapter. Hmm. Oh yeah. Well, I'm looking for something. Golly, here's your thing. What? It's sixteen ninety nine. That magnifying glass with the two with the little hands. Mm -hmm. what electrical thing. I know I bought I bought some real electrical paint. Mm -hmm. Can't find it. It's yes, cheaper so. to buy the one that has the most on it. Which one? That one said clearance. You got two of them say clearance. For two forty seven. Oh, you see two bucks on that. On the red sign? Yeah. What? Clearance. Clearance. Which one is it? That's PVC electrical. You need one that's for electrical. I thought you said PVC electrical. So, lady, ask her, does it make a difference? Or where's that guy? Mm, that's right. And electro dino. I was looking for the most time you can put on the gap. I mean, something else. How much is that? Oh, if you put it on the end of the wire and clamp it down, and then you have to have something to screw it down. You, Cause you know what I'm saying? I might can wrap it. Mm -hmm. You you prefer me to wrap it, then tape it down? It probably hold one. Probably would. All you do is just try it and see if it works. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna need some tape though. You just grab one, I guess. <coughs> <coughs> Let's ask him what's the difference in the PVC. What does that mean? I never heard of just you know mm. PVC electrical tape. I just heard of electrical tape. That's a quick question. What's the difference in the tape? It, it ain't it. Really? Because it's in it's electric tape. That's all I need. Uh, <laughs> why they call it PVC electrical? I got no idea. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Appreciate it. We're ready to check out now. Right. Yes, uh, <laughs> we can get you something. We can get you a brand new phone today. She might not get no phone. <laughs> I don't care what. <laughs> For free. How about that? No? Mm -hmm. You still say no? Mm -hmm. She don't need no more phone. She got, she got too many phones already. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. You're welcome. I have a wonderful day. All right. Let me get All right. Thank stuff. you for your Thank you for your assistance. Yeah.
probably need to let it cool off for us. Yeah, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Because I'm taking all this, this right here coming out. That's the only way you're going to get to these holes right here. Then I'm going to go ahead and, because I probably need to clean that, don't I? Yeah. Because when these come on, this going to come on. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? You see how this on? Mm -hmm. That's gonna stay on until this go off. When it go off, this going off with it. Okay. So I'm gonna hook up fall lights. Yeah, I've seen the different colors. Fall lights, blue. Uh, Where you could change, you could reach in and change the bulb. Yeah, you can change the bulb. Or you can change the whole housing. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. But after the car cools off then we're gonna start the video back we're gonna start the video okay this is let me, let me see what the other one is at. always do it before I See them do it. And some of them, they show you a before and after tape. The reason why they're doing that is because I'm gonna show it when I get the wiring up here. Well, I want you to, to do. Cause that takes a lot of time. What I'm about to do, and I gotta come out right. And then I, I show, I show the video as far as. But right here, you're taking a loose what you had. Wired with the, yeah. um, the yeah. duct tape. Yeah. See, I don't tuck that a loose, so that would be. This would be your before and after. Trying to get it. See, this is, you know how you is. This is your, that's your, that's your thing right there. You like. See, that's gonna be the before right there. How it look? I don't know if you got a good light, so you probably need some light. Yeah, that's gonna be before. Before I put it together, then I'll be back. Then you cut the video short, so you'll be back. Then I'm gonna show you an after picture when I get through. Okay, so what you doing there? Cutting the head off? Yep, uh, cutting it off. What part is that? That black part? What that hook up to? Probably hook up to the relay switch, son. They hook up the sign. But I know that this is the only part I know that hooks up to the, the light, the fault light itself. Oh.
now cutting the positive side. And get ready to split the take the plastic off uh, the negative side. So we took this stuff back to the other wires back to Radio Shack mm -hmm. because they were um, the Celsius was too low. It was yeah. 105 and we needed was that one 180 Celsius or something to that effect. Well, we got the one that we anything that's over 105 would be good. That means that if it get any hotter, any hotter outside or uh, up under that engine, the wiring will be able to handle it. The current going through the wire will be able to, because it's always good to get something that can, the voltage, if the voltage go through there, it can handle it. If it, and it's very rarely that your, your car get probably 105 with the lights, but just in case, a surge or something come through it, they'll be able to handle it without burning up the wire in the vehicle. Now, I don't, like I said, I'm not trying to take that from a dealership, but certain things that a dealership should be mindful of, people don't have the money. After you paying, you paying a high car, car note, the car's already, high. your note is already high. So when something go out and you don't have a warranty to the vehicle, then you can't let anybody up under the hood because if they're not familiar with the charger, then you got a problem. You're causing more problem with your vehicle. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to help you a less expensive way. But if you don't feel comfortable doing what I'm doing, then you need to take it to somebody that's certified to do it. But it seems to work for me to what I'm doing, straight wind it to my uh my regular car lights and fall light come on fine goes off so so I'm hoping that what I'm working on they can be helpful to you okay but if you do not feel comfortable doing this uh, I suggest you do get an authorized authorized person that can do the work and you were saying that the the light get they get hot even if um yeah don't try to hold the lights don't try to hold the bulb directly in your hand make sure when you take that bulb out of your vehicle that the bulb has cooled off but you remember when you go back to put, when you go back to put it back into the housing and to put it and replace it back in there make sure you wipe that bulb clean because you can still blow it any kind of handprints on it or grease it can cause that bulb to blow so make sure that you use either gloves or a soft cloth or if you feel that you got handprints on it, take take some alcohol, wipe it down and let it dry, then replace it. Put it back in there. Put it back into the house. Okay. So this wire you went and picked up from O'Reilly. Yeah, O'Reilly, yeah. Uh, yeah, the people at O'Reilly were very helpful. I don't know the young lady name, but she was she was very knowledgeable about the wiring and and she explained to me what voltage and what it can actually uh what it can actually hold. So that was very helpful. So what you doing now? I'm actually con uh connecting the positive wire to the positive. So what I'm doing is I'm extending this light part where it can actually feed to the light and then and I can feed it through the car and I'm going to insulate it and put the black cover in there over it to keep it from heat resistance. So once I stick it in there and plug it up uh, to my light that this the light gonna give this the power that it needs to power it up but also it's gonna also cut my vehicle off when I put it on a timer so that can be that's helpful right there I wasn't looking for to spend that type of money until having a switch turn something on that the car automatically already has a timer mm -hmm. so so if you feel confident you can do it do so. And uh, 
I'll be posting this video as soon as I get through and get it loaded up and I hope this video will help you uh, do the insulation or putting in your uh, fault lights. Uh, if I can help you, you can email me. Oh, the email address, I can just um, email through YouTube. It's member at abandonedvehicles.com. So, you know, um, give at least 72 hours before response. But if you post something on on a Saturday or Sunday, it probably won't get answered until the next business day. Mm-hmm. And then when, once I get through and get this actually, the harness and everything put on there, I show you a before and after picture, and then I sh I show you the I show you the car. And I'll be also working on the Honda, no, Honda Accord, but I will also be working on the Charger as far as putting a wing on the back, painting it, getting it painted, and getting it uh, installed on the back of the car. So look for that video. And I'm sorry I wasn't able to uh, show the video with the, uh, installed in the cooling fan. Well, when I went to the dealership, they were they were charging me a hundred and forty-three, a hundred and forty-five dollar per side each. Each motor. It was a hundred and forty-five for each, each motor. motor. And that was that's that's just too outrageous. I went straight to eBay and got the part for probably eighty-three eighty-three dollars, and it took me about thirty minutes to put it in. Probably not even that to put it in myself. So you know, a lot of stuff. I think uh, YouTube because without YouTube, a lot of stuff I wouldn't be able to do. So you know, so yeah, you know, my hats off to uh, YouTube. I appreciate I appreciate them for the knowledge. But uh, but I will be uh, showing you a before and after picture before I uh, post this video. Thank you. Okay, now you can just squeeze those on, right? Yep. Those connectors? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make sure you squeeze them real tight because they have a tendency to still kind of pull a loop. But I also put black tape to make sure. Electrical tape. Yeah. Electrical tape to make sure that they are still put together. And when you squeeze those on them, you can only do it on one side. Yeah. Don't go all, all the way around the, the yeah. connector yeah, because it'll warp it. It'll warp it and actually cause it to come back loose. So, yeah. I'm going to do the black wire and that will be your ground. I was about to say negative, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you can say negative, but I always use, you know, color, color code. And hope that you, uh, we hope this video will be helpful to you. It's my first time doing fall light, so I'm, I'm new at this too. on it and then we out we out to the front to install it and hopefully it was it will right turn out you put the wires the copper wires together yeah so it's before you put them in here it's always good to uh try to put them try to tighten them up as close as possible so you can put it into uh the connector Let's see how far we can get it in there. Okay, so let's 
probably too much. So it's too long? Yeah, it's probably too long. Yeah, because you want to make sure that uh, you get all the wiring in there before you close it up or join that, uh, join it together or mend it together, whatever you call it. Yeah, if you but if you if you're a car fanatic, oh yeah, that'll be that'll be something that good be uh pretty much good to do over the weekend. Just your weekend project, you know. If you got the time to do it. That together. Yeah, got that together. Can you hold that? Uh, this, this the Let's see what we got here. Over this. You got the um, um, electrical tape? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Take this shot of those wires with the connectors. Here's the rod. We already put in one side. There's the fog light right there. It's already on in the spot where it needs to be. Hit that uh that light. That light. I don't want to get it hot now. Oh, okay, well, never mind. But I had to go in there and cut it off. Let's see. No, it's okay. This is you got it. You got it. Yeah, that's yeah, the fog light in on, place. Have to turn it off so we get the other one on. Yeah. What you can take off here? And then take off this air filter. This is, this one. Are you trying to get down to the back side of this this light on this side? Mm -hmm. There's that beloved new two new motors for the fan, but he bought the two motors and the whole fan assembly for eighty three dollars. Free shipping off of eBay. Okay. Lid on the back of the other car.
what you do is take the hose off, set that there. This is the release. Okay. Take that and set it to the side here. Take that to the side. I'm just going to do it like this. Okay. Then take this and it all come out at one time. That's the that's the house. Then what we're going to do next is this. That's my, I can touch my fingers. So that's good. Now, I'm going to take the housing out of this. And that's the bulb we're going to take out. Right here. Then I'm going to split this Y right here. I'll split it. But that's the bulb I'm telling you, not the hole in your hand. This particular bulb, this particular bulb, you don't need the hole in your hand. You need to take this right here. This is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to take a, uh, a flathead screwdriver and pry it off. Hopefully, it'll come off. No problem. There you go. That's the bulb you don't need to hold in your hand. That particular bulb. It's hot and it will burn you. So now, this is what I'm finna do. I'm gonna split this and open this. Get your box cut off. Yeah. It'll make it a little easier cutting it, cut it down mm -hmm. on that same opening probably. Oh yeah. See, I'm uh, what I'm doing is I'm gonna come up this way with it. See right there. Split it just a tad because it got tape on it. wires right here has to be okay. so then so you open up the tape that was holding those two together mm -hmm. so then this is how I find out the positive and the negative mm -hmm. you got the wire oh yeah Take this. You're gonna wrap it. Yeah. And this is how you tell the positive. Take them and set them in the same position. This is your positive. This is your negative. Positive wires. This is your negative. So this will be your neutral and this will be your uh your positive. So the the um other one uh, would be the negative because you got to identify it by t by it being two tone. Yeah. This one has a blue stripe on it. What I have to do now is split that wire. Split one and start splitting them so I can get to them because I got to uh. You're going to split them until you start seeing the copper in the wire. Yeah, I can see that a little bit. You can see a little bit. Mm -hmm. So. Let me go on the other side. Mm -hmm. So. You keep splitting until you can see it real good. Because you got to connect this good. So you can 
because you want to open this to be honest see that you want to open it basically like this the better you got to open the more good uh, conductor you'll get you want to get a better you want to have a good conductor when it comes to the wires probably need to flip that one over if, if at all possible oh yeah I'm, I did all that okay cause that's what I'm trying to get it's a good conductor What I'm doing is basically showing you that's it going to power up. This is this is what I'm doing. You want me to try to twist that? Yeah, I probably can do it. One minute. Let's try this again. Because what I'm doing is that's all I'm trying to do is to get a connection. Okay. And make sure before you turn your car, D wires are not touched. You don't need to touch. I might short out your light or short out your computer. You probably blow a few, but just to be on the safe side. Switch it off and then connect. Let's see how that works. I'll quit one of them. Now, before I do that, I gotta take them back loose and put. No, I probably can just put that stuff on top. I'll probably just go ahead and tape these. If you want to tape them. I'm gonna go ahead and tape them. I'll go ahead and take them a little one at a time and tape them. Okay, we did one and now we're doing the other side, putting that, the tape on. And that will be your positive side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of stuff you just. Got just. Yes. When it becomes your vehicle, you sometimes you just have to take that chance. And uh, you you don't always have the money. You have the money to get the part, but you don't have the money for the labor. 
So educate yourself on your uh, about your car. Ask questions. I want to know about this charge. I want to know if it's something I could do. Let me do it. If it's something I know I can't do it, I'll take it directly to a dealership or authorized uh, person that's certified to do it. Are you going to tape them back together too? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tape these together. Let's see. Do I need to? Yeah. Trying to do it real neat and clean. Yeah, try to put it as tight as you can get it. And now, fun part. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put the bulb in. So. Make sure before you put that bulb in. You probably can't do that. What you what I'm gonna end up doing is running this I probably end up cutting some off. Mm hmm But I got I got some more wire. I'm hoping that it'll fit up in there, but if it don't fit back in that tubing. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, if you can get you some more tubing, that'll be great. I got some tubing for this. That thing is so small. Yeah. They so yeah, try to get the tubing back in now. I like that piece of wire showing right there. Take a little piece of tape. Yeah, try to yeah, try to insulate it as much as possible. But they do hold a lot of heat. And you do get a lot of vultures coming through here, so try to insulate it as much as possible. Well how many how many inches you think that um, this red and black wire that you use? Probably about. Hmm. Probably about. Like about 36 inches. Yeah, about 36 inches. One yard. Mm -hmm, about a yard. Probably, and you probably won't need that much. I just did it just to be on the safe side. First time doing it. Trying to do it right, so no, that's enough. That's enough, cause in case I gotta replace something, I just ain't gotta worry about it. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do now is get the bug. Remember, I told you, make sure fingerprints or prints are off for it before I replace it and put it back. Snap right in. Take it. Stick it back in now. That's right. Back into the housing. Now, what I'm going to do with this is and snap this. Put the the cable on here. What about your um, left? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, you know what? I forgot. I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure. And, and those stay together. Yeah. 
it's be it's best that you put tape on them, and that'll keep them. Yeah, just put it up against that. Yeah, I forgot. My producer, the director, <laughs> for, I forgot. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. But yeah, you want to put those on him. Sometimes you don't need the tape, but uh, a little tape won't hurt. Old-fashioned way, tea. What you suggest? You think I should type them together? Hmm. Not really. You just put a light one around it. Light. Oh, that green feels good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so now I can put this on. Like a casing. You want me to hold one? Put your casing, put your heat casing on there. I said, yeah, that charger do get hot in the inside. Cover that end. If it's short, make sure you put it on the end that that um, has the wire, the um, electrical tape. Now, let's see how this works. Okay. What you reaching for down there? Hmm. I'm gonna put it through. Feeding it through and feeding it through. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Be on the safe side. Take your little piece of tape and put it on your heat resist your tube on the end. That way it won't come back out. Mm. Wrap it around the tube. Mm hmm. That way when you put it through, it won't come back out. Same thing on this end. See how it don't work this way out? That'll say you can head it. Now, I'm going to 
test it one more time to make sure it's working. Not in yet, but we're gonna test it. Voila! Fall light. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. And after this, you're gonna screw it down. And after this, I'll be screwing it down. Okay. It's more than two, so two. But this should be okay, Shane. Now we're putting all the parts back. We're putting all the parts. Forgot. Putting all the parts back. We just assume, but we want to, as a safety precaution, make sure that you remove all your your knives and blades or instruments, tools and rags from up under the hood. And because I would hate to see you uh, or anybody. Okay, so that's a wrap, and make sure you don't over tighten anything yep. when you put it back in. And um, best wishes on your do-it-yourself repairs on your any vehicle. And make sure to like us on YouTube. Have any questions? Send them to members at abandonedvehicles.com. And check out our other uh, videos that we have posted. Thanks.